Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, long time now see. I say long time, I think it's really only been about a month and a half, but if you're a regular on my channel, you know I post videos a lot more frequently than that. Um, so I thought I'd just do a really quick little channel slash life update to let you know why I haven't been around so much. Um, so the first is just uh, back before Christmas, I had some like health issues, nothing serious, it's all resolved now. Um, but just I had to take it a little bit slower around Christmas time, which worked out fine. It's nice to take it slower around the holidays. Um, and then recently uh, my dog died. Um, I'm kind of only at the stage now where I can talk about it without crying, so hence why I'm able to make a video now. Um, she, I had her almost half my life. Um, I had her even before I met my husband, so she was really just, it's, if you've ever lost a pet, you know it's like losing a family member. Like you have daily routines with them, you see them every single day. So that has been a huge, that yeah, it just kind of knocked me back on my butt for a little while. Anyone who's lost a pet, especially if you've had her, she was almost 16 when she died. So really, really long time. Um, it's a huge change and you just have to get used to it. Um, but yeah, if anyone has any tips for how to not get over the death because of course it's something that's always going to be with you um, but if you've experienced something similar and you have any tips for how you worked through it let me know something for me that I can share it took me a really long time to look at any pictures of her because I would just start bawling my eyes out uh, but my husband he started um, this google like shared image folder that we could all kind of add photos to from throughout her life and then with the idea that one day we can I don't know make a scrapbook or a memory book or just something to kind of like commemorate her and her life um, and it took me a really long time to actually even look at the pictures uh, but when I did it kind of like put it into perspective that like like even just seeing pictures of her from like two three years ago back when we were in London like right before we moved over here to Denmark um, she just looked like a completely different dog like I know like I knew she was aging like she had a little gray beard going on and getting a little bit fatter and slower and all those things but you know when you're with them like day in day out you don't notice all the small like subtle changes um, and just seeing her from like two, three years ago, I really put it into perspective that she, it was just her time. Like she had reached the end of her life. She was a senior dog um, and we gave her the best life we could. So there's, it's, yeah, it's life. There's not much you can do about it. It's unfair, it's annoying. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of honestly the main reason why I haven't been posting so much. It's just been, that's been a whole big change. Um, the other thing, I've been busy with kind of work things here and there, so that's been eating up some time. And finally, my son has started Brennehau, which is like a kindergarten over here in Denmark. Um, he, over here, they start it from just under three years old, and then they stay until around five years old, um, just before they go into like first grade, or, or zero class as they call it here. Um, so he'll be in there until he starts grade school. Um, and of course, that's been another huge... Um, adjustment especially for him of course but also just for us just it's a whole yeah it's a whole new thing for him um and also just that took a whole week out of our lives because um they do this really nice thing here when you start i don't know if all i'm sure most schools do it here i'm not sure but in his school anyway they do this thing where you basically have like a week warm-up to your new environment um, and we were quite lucky because his um, nursery was literally like, it's the same school, it's just, it was right next door to his new classroom. So the environment's all, like he knows it. Um, but of course it's all new teachers, it's a new classroom, it's not just one classroom anymore. Like his nursery was just one room that they kind of like pottered around in. Um, his new classroom is like, it's like one, two, three, four classrooms that they can kind of like do whatever they want in. Like they have different... Like one room is for like arts and crafts, one's for like building if you wanted to play with like Lego or whatever. Um, so it's quite nice, it, 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 like each child can kind of find what they want to do, what like find friends with common interests and all that. But of course it's very overwhelming, especially if you're not even three years old and you're being like thrown into this new environment. Um, so they do this this um, first like warming up week um, and then the, like you, the parents basically, or me in this case, because my husband would be working, um, you just have to be around that week. So the first day, so the Monday, um, the parent, me, goes with him for a couple hours just to, like you just sit and play in their new environment, you meet the new teachers, and it's all just very like informal, relaxed, um, and then you go home together before lunch. Then the next day, he, I stayed for like, I think it was like an hour or so that I stayed, and then I kind of disappear until, and then he tries to have lunch there. Um, 
and then I pick him up after lunch and then we go home. And then, so the goal is by the end of that week on the Friday, he has just a regular full day there without me um, in his new kind of new environment, new schedule. And you're just kind of, with some kids, they're fine that first week. My kid was fine. Luckily he's pretty adaptable. So I think we're quite lucky in that regard. Um, some kids, if they need a little bit longer, sometimes the parents might have to kind of intervene a little bit more. So that's why you kind of have to be like on call that whole week if they, they're just, yeah, if they're kind of struggling, if they're a little bit sad, then you can kind of come and, and yeah, help out a little bit or just reassure them. Um, so yeah, that was another big chunk of time that kind of took me out of video planning and filming and everything. And of course, if you're in Denmark, you know that it's just been winter break. So I've been at home this whole past week with him, with my son. Um, so yeah, it's really all, it's just, life has been coming at me hard and fast and it's it's not giving me any time to kind of sit down and plan and film and everything um if you've seen my community posts i don't know if you if you realize but um on each uh, youtube channel there's like a little kind of like a little twitter feed that each um, channel can do it's called the community tab um you can do like little updates and things i did a little update just saying that i'm halfway through um filming a project which i am i'm still halfway through it um, but I do have something coming up. So I just, all this to say, thank you so much for being patient with me. I just wanted to kind of explain why I went away. Um, and it's definitely not, it's not my intention to like slip quietly away from YouTube. I want to get back into the, my, if not weekly, every two weeks video um, schedule. So yeah, thanks for your patience. And as always, if you have any suggestions for particular videos or places in Copenhagen you'd like me to go and check out, leave me a comment, send me a message, um, and I will do my best to get to them. Um, also, one last request before I go. Um, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers and that is my goal that I'm trying to hit uh, as soon as possible, really. Um, so I'd really appreciate it. If you're one of my regular watchers, even if you're not, if you have uh, one of my videos that is your favorite, if you could share that with your friends and family, just like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I would just, I would really be appreciative. Um, so hopefully I can hit my goal of a thousand subscribers because I worked so hard the past year <laughs> to, to build up to that. Um, but yeah, I love doing this channel. I really enjoy it. I love talking with you guys in the comments and hearing what you guys have to say, your feedback and everything. Um, so I'm really excited. Hopefully nothing else life-wise gets thrown at me because I don't know if I can take any more. <laughs> Um, but I'm really excited to get back into to planning and shooting and filming and yeah, just getting out more content to you guys. So I hope you guys are all having a great week and I'll see you on my next video.